Hey everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Windows 11 installation has failed. The first solution that you have to consider immediately is to enable TPM in BIOS. To do this you have to access BIOS or UEFI on your PC. This procedure can be different for each manufacturer, but usually it implies pressing a function key like F10 or F2 right before booting the operating system. So depending on the architecture, in our case the TPM support was located in the security section and once selected you have the option to enable it or disable it, so just proceed with enabling it. Now you can just save the changes by pressing the corresponding key for your BIOS and exit. If you already had TPM enabled, then the solution might be to enable the secure boot option. Even though I am showing this on Windows 11, the procedure is identical on Windows 10. Press the Windows button, then type in recovery options and select it from the search results. In here, under the advanced startup category, simply click on the restart now button which will take you to a general boot menu. Now select the troubleshoot option, then navigate to advanced options and lastly choose the UEFI firmware settings option. After your PC gets into BIOS, click on security, then select the secure boot option, but remember, this architecture menu can differ from one device to another. Next, just toggle the secure boot option to on to enable it, then accept the changes when you're prompted. Lastly, just save the changes and exit, then wait for the PC to reboot. Another useful solution is to bypass TPM 2.0 and secure boot. To do this, press the Windows button, then type regedit and select registry editor from the search results. In here, navigate to the following path, H key local machine, system, and then setup. In here, right click on the setup and select new and then key, which you have to name as lab config. Then in the new lab config key, right click the blank space on the right pane to create two D word values, which go by the following names, bypass TPM check and bypass secure boot check. After you created them, double click each of them and change their value data from 0 to 1 and finishing by clicking on OK. And another useful solution is to remove the GPU driver. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the context menu. In here extend the display adapters section, right click the graphics driver and select uninstall device, which will also prompt the system to reinstall a new driver after that. And that's it, plenty of great solutions to try out. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.